Hey Flosstube, I'm Sharon from Sharon's Crafted Creations um, and I thought I would film a whip parade. Um, been stitching for 35 plus years and I have a lot to show, um, mainly full coverage so there's that um, and yeah I'm at a stitching retreat at the moment um the Essex Needles retreat in Essex clearly um <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea to get all my whips together film a whip parade um as I say I'm Sharon from Sharon Crafted Creations you can find me on Instagram as well the same name um I'm from Kent um yeah and fell right back into the rabbit hole of cross stitch in covid times um was stitching for years before then gave it up when the children were young didn't have time um but yeah so once covid hit we you know i was furloughed and and i thought well let's get back into doing some stitching and the bug has hit me hard hit me hard um so yes, let's get into it. I've got 60, I think 65 whips. Um, so yeah, let's crack on because there's lots to show. Um, I'm going in chronic chronological order-ish. So yearly rather than monthly. Because that was just too, too, oh, it would take me forever. It took me forever to deal with this. So anyway, let's go and start. Number one very very old whip um i don't have the cover photo anymore it's long since gone so i shall take a photo and i'll show you what it will look like one day <laughs> it is by maya or maya and it is the siberian tiger i hope that's not too much glare there we go Siberian tiger and that is where I am I started to park so excuse the, the the threads started to park just figuring out what I was trying to do look at them horrible staying there hopefully that will get covered by the stitching it needs a good wash that is very very old i don't i don't know what year i started that <clears throat> number one number two dimensions gold collection canterbury peonies and canterbury bells i think it's on 18 count yeah 18 count all the cord for threads and fabric and that's where i am i think i'm i'm 50 percent 50%. I've done a bit of back stitching as I go. And that's where I am with that one. And then I found Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh dear. So the first one I started was a mini springtime splendour by Randall Spangler. Now, because I didn't know what I was doing with Haid, <clears throat> this is my first one. I've UFO'd it for now. I might go back to it because I've done quite a lot. And this is 28 count, two over two. But because it's a mini, it's quite pixelated. So I don't know whether I'm going to continue with it. But look how much I've done. I am on. Oh, I haven't, I haven't written down what percentage because I think I've already taken it off the pattern keeper. Um, but I'd say, what am I... I'd say 20% maybe, ish, but it's quite, once you get close up it is very pixelated, especially her face, so I think that's a UFO for now, next is an Etsy pattern, Hogsmeade, uh, by Country Magic Stitch, it says here April 2021, Again, I've got some parked threads, so please excuse those. Here we go. 
that is 18 count, I think, Ada. And I'm on 19.53%. Um, and I am substituting. I don't know what colour it's supposed to be, but some of the snowflakes I'm using DMC, that Diamante that's on a spool. Just to give it a bit of a sparkle. That's that one. Another Etsy find, Cross Stitch Love, Weasley House, March 2021, apparently. This is on an Possibly an 18 count Ada, it's like a sagey green colour. It's just like what something I found in stash just to start it. Don't think I'm going to carry on with this one. I don't know though. It's 17% at the moment. And then I found Creative Barbara Ann, not Barbara Anna, um, Our Forest Embroidery. The Alice in Wonderland sale. It's a free pattern on their website. And that's where I am up to at the moment. That's not on Pattern Keeper, that's highlighter and wire. But it's rather cute. I love the white rabbit. And that is two over two on 28 count that I've tea dyed on that one. Next one is Barbara Anna Sal, Up in the Air Sal. Um, <clears throat> I haven't got a cover photo, but I do have, I think, yes, Barbara Anna. That's what she will look like when she's done. And I am that far. 28 count, hand dyed by myself. Two over two, I think. Yes, two over two. On that one. Then, it was my birthday. So I had a birthday start. My first fancy lady. Bella Filipina, Gaia. She's gorgeous. Love her. Hand dyed some fabric for her. And I have a parked thread, so apologies. And I am beading as I go. Oh, look how amazing she looks. One over one skin. And I am this far. So I dyed it from the blue. I think, don't know if you can make it out that it is blue. Through sort of yellowy yellowy green at the bottom <clears throat> love her and then another fancy name came along spring from lavender and lace celtic spring another 28 count hand dyed by me sort of a pinky bluey paley greeny <laughs> Thing going on <laughs> and she is gorgeous as well one over one on her skin too oh. again beading as I go and she's lovely too I've, I think I've only got those two fancy ladies on the front no I've got one more but that was last this year I started anyway I digress another gold petite this time Gorgeous little kitten. July 21. Another hand dyed by me. I obviously was in a hand dyeing mood at the time. So I am omitting the background. Back stitching as I go, which looks fabulous. It looks a bit odd without her eyes. Hmm. Two over one. And that's 18 count Ada, that one. <clears throat> Next. Ornament of Butterfly Court Mauve by Jenna Della Gortaglia and Maldonado. One over one at 25 count, hand dyed by me. 
I love the fabric as well. <clears throat> Stunning. Stunning. And then Hayde had a sale, I think it was May 2021. So I three in the sale. And I started them September ish. Um, first one is. Mini Foxy Lady by Marjorie Sarnat. Oh, cute. I need 2% on that. Small start. <clears throat> 28 count, 1 over 1. Oh. hope this isn't too dark. Move around a bit, maybe. Second one of the three, her mini Home for the Winter by Lucy Pitoway. I think these are now retired chart. 25 count or one over one, hand dyed by me. I have taken out the background on some of it. 37%, so it's not really 37%, but it is background wise. And that's where I am with that one. Cute Robin. So cute. <clears throat> Last one of the May Madness. <laughs> Mini Meditation by Elizabeth Welcher. There we go. I am 3% on one over one on 25 count. There we go. None that far. That one. My son bought me, this is I think Christmas 2021, Gecko Rouge, oh, cats, by Danny Lizith. It's 25 count. It was originally Easy Grid, but I washed the Easy Grid out because I couldn't get on with it. <clears throat> Oh, it's so cute. Oh, excuse the uh, creases. It's a lot thicker, this fabric, a lot thicker. Um, there we go. That's that one. I'm not sure how far along percentage wise I am on that one. Did I write it down? 13%. Quick stitch. Stitch in time number four, Amy Stewart. One over one, 25 count. I am at 27.92, so 28%. I've been working on this this while we've been at the retreat. But I am 27%, but I am seriously thinking about UFOing it and buying the super size bookshelf complete and just doing the little section because it's actually smaller probably by half of the book because this is absolutely massive for a quick stitch so i am seriously thinking about you that one don't know so that's 2021 2022 started again I don't think they're in date order this one was a um, in, I think it was either Instagram or Facebook there was a lady on there that um, if you donated uh, to the Ukraine one re Ukraine relief fund I can't, I can't remember what it was you, get, you got a free pattern and this was it um, well, it wasn't a free pattern, obviously. Well, it is a free pattern. You didn't. Anyway, so close to finish on this one. I've just got the down the bottom here. Uh, 
put the sunflower seeds in your pocket so they grow when you die down the bottom here I've just got that little bit to do I've got a photo of it maybe not <clears throat> no but I think you will know the one I mean oh, so that's very close to finish um, an Etsy find nature we oh, I don't know I don't know what the name of the Etsy seller was no idea but this is two over two it's hand dyed by me I'm at 14 percent I'll get it out and I think oh yeah I'll start that and I'll get to the and then I crave my full coverage I can only do a little bit of non full coverage and then I'm like no oh, I need to get back to my full coverage this one I think is near a Christmas actually because I don't know why really not very good day order is it this is a Buffy Threads kit that's that one what's it called do we know what it's called no idea it's 28 I, I subbed out the fabric and I'm doing it on 28 count um, chromatic al alchemy possibly I think it is actually um, is it chromatic alchemy or is it one of Megan's coffee craft anyway that's how far I am on that one fabric is gorgeous <clears throat> that's where I am on that one is it one over one did I do it on one over one am I doing it one over one I don't know am I doing that one no two over two two over two it's 28 Another Hade Mini Butterfly Kisses by Charlotte Bird. Oh, she's got some gorgeous artwork. Love that. Is that better? There we go. One over one, 25 count is my preferred. A 28%. 28%. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Let's get back to that one. <laughs> and Etsy shop, Irina Dargel. I don't know the name of her shop, can't remember. Um, forest flowers. Meadow flowers, I think it's meadow flowers. <coughs> Part thread, apologies. That's where I am on that one. One over one, that's 28 count. I seem to stall a bit on the 28 count, one over one. It's just there, just a slightly more retaxing on your eyes. This one I started to fall as an anniversary piece. It's Stitch Rovia on Etsy. Every love story is beautiful. August 22, I started this. <clears throat> I am one over one on 32 count. 24%. That's where I am on that one. Gorgeous colours on that one. I did have the idea of stitching on it every <clears throat> first of the month, which is our anniversary date, the first. But the minute I said that, I thought, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't, I can't do that. Next is a Mini Love Letters at Chocolate Shop by Amy Stewart. So I've got the Mini. I thought I would see what the uh, pixelation is like it's one over one at 25 count and I'm at 13 percent and I'm right slap bang in the middle there oh, 
from a distance it's looking okay up close it's right it's a bit pixelated but it's okay it's okay I'll carry on with that one next is from I think World of Cross Stitch or Cross Stitcher it's a Hade it's the same one which one is it from the World of Cross Stitching I can't remember can't remember what month or year so if you want to know I will find out for you <clears throat> let me know so cute magic in the uh, moonlight there's a few of a few people stitching this I think E in E crafting in Colorado is doing it I think Lindsay blushing pink stitches is doing it um I started it at the first Essex Noodle Retreat I went to back in 22 so but it's a um, it's not on Patty Keeper so it's a paper chart so it's a bit slow going but it's cute 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 another Etsy I can't remember the name of the if you like it I'll try and find it for you it's an Etsy seller fell in love with it I don't know why watercolour bear it's called two over two on 25 count and that is where I am there are blends and there are half stitches and full stitches and that's that one quick stitch forest light by Jonathan Earl Bowser another hade <laughs> this is quite a very small one though one over one at 28 count. I'm at 55.88%. Which is cute. Which is cute. Love her. Another Hade. Deer Creek. By Donna, a girl singer. One over one. 25 count. I'm at 8.94%. Oh, it is stunning. Steve the Stag. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't he lovely? That's that one. Next one uh, is another, another magazine one. Let's see if I can find that for you. There we go. I think is that one cross stitch again? Sorry, I've just disappeared. It's just disappeared on me. Is it world of cross stitch? World of cross stitching. Sorry about the uh, glare there. There we go. Home bird. Isn't it cute? Little blue tip. Love the blue tits in my garden. This is weenie, and I shan't be doing it in a cushion. <laughs> Finishing it in a cushion. And there we are. <laughs> Cute. That's that one. Right. There was a sow. Uh, dark. Dark cream sow, is it? On Instagram, um, Debbie from Creatively Yours started it, I think, in 22. Um, pay it's by Paying Free Crafts. There's a two or three uh, different ones, and this one is Dark Snow White by Daniel Barrett. Is it? Sorry, sorry, Barrett Biggers. Barrett Biggers. 25 count, one over one. Not much done on this one, 2.45%. So that is this top corner here. So it's actually gorgeous colours. Look at those. Must, must get back to this one. I haven't stitched on this one for, for years. No. Next. 
Charting Creations this time. Christmas Fairy Magic by Ruben McHugh. This was one of Teresa Little Stitches. Let's do Ruben McHugh. I think it was her. One over one, 25 count, 4.31 cent. And that's where I am with that one. <laughs> Tea for top. <laughs> Gorgeous colours. Teals. And a heaven and earth. Design Mini Magic Autumn by Jen, oh dear, Jen, Jen O'Dear Art, possibly. Two over one, ten stitch, on 28 count, 16.48%. Did I? So I started it off with tent and then didn't like <clears throat> the way it was very um bobbly not bobbly sort of what's the word it's just very thick very thick and very i didn't like the way it was wasn't flat on on the fabric so then i started so then i <clears throat> carried on full cross so i started it 10 and then i'm finishing it off full cross um but obviously that takes longer but the colors are amazing very autumn-y, obviously. Cute. Like that. <clears throat> Next. <clears throat> Daisy Blue by Joe Lynch. This must have been one of their sales. <clears throat> Paid. <clears throat> Weenie. <clears throat> really tiny. It's only 198 by 135. <clears throat> T for top is 25 count. One over one, 11%. Looks like an eyeball. It does freak me out every time I see it. <clears throat> I think, oh, it's odd. Right, so this is my first proper bookshelf. Once Upon a Fairy Tale, Max Colours, regular size, Amy Stewart. <clears throat> so, um, one over one at 25 count, and I am at 15%. So I started in the middle on this one. <clears throat> Let me come back because it was messy. That's where I am. I started in the middle. I went down to make sure I had enough fabric. <laughs> and then I went up to the top, just so I knew I had all my margins. And then I, then I, and then I did the castle and the dragon. And then I went up to the top. And now I'm working my way across here to the corner. It's a mixture of tent stitch, full cross and tent stitch. Every now, can you tell? Can you tell that I've chopped and changed? Mm. And that little owl up there is so cute. <laughs> But it's only until you step back from it that you can see all the little things. Once you're when you're stitching it, you think, "Oh, what is that?" Because it's Max Color. It's so much confetti and so much ninja stitches. I've got a few a few to go in that little where the lady is. There's the dragon. <laughs> Lindsay, blushing pink stitches, she's doing her uh, stitching shelf, 100 stitches a day. I really would love to have the the willpower to just stitch 100 stitches a day. I can't do it. One, two. My brain says no. <clears throat> Hayd. Cathedrals of the Forest Max Colours by Stephanie of Prow and Moon Law. I love her artwork. I started this um, when the Queen died 
as a memorial piece. <clears throat> one over one, 25 count, 13.36%. Lights disappearing. Let me get my board. Let's see if that helps. That's a bit better, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I'm saying one over one on 25 pounds, but it looks like I'm doing 10 stitch. So I'm lying to you all. It's two, it's two over one tenth. Why have I written one over one? It's two over one ten. <laughs> oh God. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> the rich tapestry of life of Josephine Wall. Love this one. No, only made a very small start. Two over one ten. Two over one tent, three point twenty nine per cent. So not a lot on that one. As yet. Um, I've got Creation by Amy Brown. Isn't she stunning? But what I'm doing on this one, I am omitting all the background. I'm just stitching her. So it's 28 count, <clears throat> one over one, chromatic alchemy, and it's Freesia by chromatic alchemy. I'm at 43.16% because I have taken some of the background out. Let me get my board. I have taken some of the background out. Not all of it yet. <clears throat> but this fabric is absolutely stunning. I hope that you can. See that? Isn't she gorgeous? Love her hair. Her hair is fabulous. Here we go. That's her. That one. <clears throat> is this the last one? No, second to last one in 22 days. Parish Streets by Dominic Davidson. This is a big one. This is a big one. 625 by 446. So much confetti and detail in this one. One over one at 25 count, 12%. Parked thread. Apologies. How far am I away from the town? I've got to know. Not that far. <laughs> really? Starts it starts here, maybe. Yeah, it starts here. So next time I get back come back to this I shall fill in the background here and start on the Eiffel Tower. So I think this is one over one. Yeah, one over one tenth, of course. Yeah. Etsy find. Counting the stars. Forest flowers mandala. One over one, 28 count. 23 per cent. 23.92 per cent. And that's where I am with that one. Teeny tiny stitches. Okay. Right, the last one for 2022 is another gift for my son. Dimensions. She is springtime. 25 count. I subbed out the fabric because I didn't like 
didn't like the fabric it was on. So I subbed out the fabric for 25 count. Is it one over one? I'm doing two over two on two over two on 25 count. And that's where I am and put. Oh, and look where I left my needle. Hopefully, the stitching will cover that. It should do. Oh, yeah. That's right. So I'm going to pause and get the next set. 20, 23 and 24. There we go. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Artisy. Evening sunset at Parliament London. Started this for the coronation. 2023. One over one, 25 count, 27.80%. Um, I This one is on the frame. <clears throat> it's upside down. <laughs> There we go. That's better. <laughs> should I should I stretch it and you know, it might be better for you. There we go. <clears throat> ha. There we are. Isn't it gorgeous? Started in the middle. Started in the middle and I think I start I think I started on that red bus actually. And then worked my way. Excuse me. So it was one over one, 25 count. A lot of confetti in those trees. Crikey, a lot of confetti. That's that one. Um, flea market flowers. There was a sale going on and I can't remember the name of it. I'm so bad, so bad at even when I'm posting on Facebook. There's a lot of this. I think I've only probably got half of what I my whips are on Instagram. Um, I just forget to post. I'm really bad at Instagram, but I am there <clears throat> anyway. Forest flowers. This is by Laurie Holt. Laurie Holt, and there is a sale, and I think Lindsay Blushy and Plink Stitches is doing it as well. So which way is up? Um, right way. There we go. Teeny tiny stitches. I think this is 28 count, one over one. Okay, <clears throat> I think this is possibly one of my favourite starts, and I couldn't put it down for maybe two, three weeks, maybe. Um, started this December in twenty three. They're so not in order. So this is 20, December twenty twenty three. Another one of Stephanie Poo I mean Poo Mon Laws. The Queen of Spades sends her regards. How fabulous that is and I'm doing it one over one tenth stitch on 32 count 32 20.19% no. right okay excuse this I was frogging it out so that's, that's obviously not part of the not part of it <laughs> Beauty's task. Fabulous. Let me get the wonder. <clears throat> so one over one tent on thirty two, and the detail is still there. Oh, 
love her. Love her. Another one which I love. It's an artisty. Elizabeth I, When a Princess. She's only a weeny one. One over one, 25 count. 9.54%. This one's an easy way to know which way is up. <laughs> Park thread. Mm, yeah, look at her. I do love her. I do love the Tudor period. My favourite period. What's that one? Live quite close to Hever Castle, where her mum used to live. Another artisty cross stitch. Europe Street. This is the large one, big one. How many stitches is it? 550 by 393. <clears throat> Another. Another Paris one that's there in the distance. Hmm. I've started in the middle here. I'm only 3.91%, so as I say, this is a big one. And that's where I am. And that's where I am on that one. One over one full cross? Yeah, one over one on 25 count. I fell in love with this one as soon as Lindsay put it up. This is by Blush, uh, charted by Blushing Pink Stitches, and the artist is Gary McNamara. It's another biggie, but stunning. Five seven six by five seven two. One over one, twenty five count, five point six two percent. She is huge. Did I say one over one? Yeah, one over one. Good God. Stunning. This one is, um, was a, oh, it was. Secret Stitch Along by Meloka, Melo, Meloka Designs. She does lots of mandala -y animals. Um, and that's as far as I've got on that one. It was a squirrel, obviously. If you can tell, it's a squirrel. Not far. Not a lot to go on that one, really. That goes into Pattern Keeper Lovely, actually. And that is one over one. I think that's I think that's twenty five count one over one twenty five count. There we go. That one. Okay, the next one I haven't got the artwork with me because that's not very well organised, is it, Sharon? It's a gecko rouge. I was in the gold club. I've stopped it now because I have far too many. That I want to stitch. So I've, I've come out of the club for now. Um, 25 count, one over one. And that's where I am. I see the bee just start, the wing start coming in here. It's a bit wrinkly. It's again, the fabric is so much thicker with Gecko Rouge. That I'm used to, and I find it does crease. Well, I have ironed it, but it does crease very well. <clears throat> I do iron mine once I've finished a project and I put it away. I do iron it and put it away. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. Okay, this one, <clears throat> Carla on. Um, Stitch Me Sane started a historical sow, historical houses sow on Instagram. Thought I would participate and I got this one off Etsy, off Tinsel Cross Stitch. It's called Summer Street. 
<clears throat> oh. I love all the uh, Victorian Gothic houses. Love them. And this is on a piece of chromatic alchemy, 28 count. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's stunning, whatever it is. Blues and there's pops of green and purple in there. And that's where I am on that one. Two over two. 28 count. Oh, that's that one. to see fog in the evening park i bought this one the same time as i bought the parliament one love this one <clears throat> 25 count on one over one 27.80 percent And surprisingly for me, I am filling in as I go. Look, there's hardly any. <laughs> Even just stitches there. This isn't like me. I don't normally stitch like that. But I am on this one. I don't know why. And that's my screensaver on my iPad because I love it so much. This is another one that I love. Mini Evergreen Tracy Butler by Haid. Excuse the spots on the paper, the printer went a bit peaked off. <clears throat> now this one, this one, I think E Crafting in Colorado is also doing this one. Um, She's, oh, look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? She is on 1 over 1, 25 count, 20.37%. And when I first started stitching her, I was doing this dark, the dark part here was the first part. It was so dark and I oh, don't know if I'll go like that. But once you um, carry on, oh, there you go. Stunning. My one and only long dog, Temperate Prophecy. This is the third time I have restarted it. You'll see on Instagram <laughs> the other two starts, but this is the third and final start. I am stitching it on Chromatic Alchemy. I was in their monthly doodah. I'm not anymore. Therefore, I had lots of fabric. Um, and this one's called, it's 28 count, a fun fetti. And that's where I am. One over one. Over one? Yes. One over one. And they are so many, those little unicorns. How gorgeous. The colours I am using, oh, I did get them out. Hold on one second. Find them. Come with them, Sharon. Ha 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 ha. Here they are. Apologies. The red is 3685 and the brown is 08. So the plan is obviously to do all the animals in the red and I'll, I'll various other bits of note. But yeah, quite enjoy that one. Another gift from my son, Spring Fairy. Using all the cord for doodars. Let's find that one. Turn me into back. As I go, oh, fabulous. 
Paper Crafts, Owl and Pussycat. 1 over 1, 25 count. Only a small amount done so far, 3.8%. So this next one is a going to be a restart simply because it's absolutely massive. It's Colourful Romance by Karen Tarleton on Hade. It's 550 by 748. That's the artwork. And I'm right at the very top. I'm right at the very top. And I have got quite a lot done. But I'm going to restart it down here and I'm going to crop all of this off. <clears throat> that is where I am. It's massive. How much percentage am I am at the moment? Let me just see on pattern keeper. Bear with me one second. Because it's huge. And I just feel like I'll be stitching it until I'm in my grave. Let's see. It's only 3%. So yeah, I'm going to um, restart that one and crop it. Another huge one. 517 by 649. It's Sharing the Gift by the Cross Stitch Studio. How cute. Cute, cute, cute. It's not cute, it's massive. I started in the middle. One over one on 25 count. Which way is up? <laughs> it's that way. It's that way. Another massive piece of fabric. <clears throat> one over one on 25 count. And that's obviously the start of the chair. <clears throat> no plans to stitch on that one anytime soon. Quick stitch. No, is it quick stitch? No, story keep. Sorry, is an life is an open book by Amy Stewart. One over one on twenty five count. Four point eighty three percent. Not a lot done on that. On that one. Okay, now we are on to this year. Okay. Now, if my son's watching, Tate, look away because this is going to be a gift for you. This is on Coffee Craft Fabrics. Get you the, I haven't got the paint, the, um, let me show you on here. It's by Soda Stitch. Oh, I thought I'd taken a, taken a photo. I haven't taken a photo. Oh, apologies for that. Anyway, it's Soda Stitch Season Windows, and I think this one is spring. Um, one one over one over two on thirty six count. <clears throat> He's just recently moved into a new flat with his girlfriend, Rachel. So I thought, well, I'd do this as a gift for them. So don't look. Tight. Caroline Manning. Now I've finished, just recently finished a Caroline Manning red. You can see it on my Instagram. So this is going to be, well it is my next one, Granny Squares is it? Sweet Pea Grannies or Flower Garden even. So you can, you, there's three different patterns so you can either do all of this, you can do this or little separate ones. I'm doing this one and I've started in the middle. I think it's 25 count. Is it one over one? One over one. 
and I honestly don't know which way is up. So I'm going to show it like that. I don't know. I think I might be that way. I think it might be this way, the salvage up the top, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, I suppose. And that's where I am. That one. I find this one. I don't know whether it's because the count is too small, but I find this one quite slow going. We'll see. This one is a magazine one, and it is, I think it's The World of Cossage again. Um, I have it all on Readly. And this is by Emma Condon, and it's Silent Night. It's a series. I think this one was the second in the series. The Fox was the first one, which my lovely friend Sandy had just finished at the retreat this weekend. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm doing this one. I will do them all eventually. But that's that. <clears throat> And I'm doing it on a piece of Coffee Craft Fabrics. It is 28 count opalescent. And I'm doing it two over two. You probably can't see the sparkle in it. Oh, yeah, you can, maybe. Two over two. <laughs> there we go. And that fabric is stunning. And I'm going to do another one on the other half of that. Christmas Parade by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is another start along with my friend Julie from Six Needles. Another coffee graft fabric. Can't remember if it's either 32 or 36. But just a small start on that one. That was in January at the Essex Stitchy Day in January. Hades Thou. Forest Fairy by Chiro Marchetti. One over one on 32 count. I'm doing it tent stitch in the vain hope that I will get it finished. Well, not many left. God, I'm nearly on an hour. Crikey. Cooler Design Studio, Spring Sampler. I'm doing this one with Lindsay at Blushing Pink Stitches. Started this one. This one is on Chromatic Alchemy again. One over two on one over two on 28 count. And I'm at 6.95%. Oh, it's back stitching this one. And the confetti is unbelievable. <clears throat> right, I've got a printout on this one. This was the Year of the Dragon sow on Instagram. It's very, very... Oh, no, it does come out. Okay. And this is In Search of Dragons. I can't remember the name of the artist bad but it's charted by stitch is so beautiful but it's a retired artist now so she is not on there anymore 32 count tent 4.96 percent upside down no that's right there we go see that little doggy coming in and the ram and underneath that dog is where the first dragon starts. When I went to the Ali Pali stitching show a couple of years ago with my friend Denise, 
um, we I bought this one and the companion one. I've had it kitted out for over a year and I thought, no, I need to start it. So here we go. Nora Corbett, Floral Dream. On a piece of Chromatic Alchemy. Two over two. No, I'm lying. One over two. One over two. Why did I do one over two? Anyway, I'm doing one over two. <laughs> and there she is. <clears throat> Bunny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Is it over one or is it over two? But there's enough fabric to do her on one side and her companion on the other, so she's there, so they're matching. <clears throat> An Etsy store. I've I've a feeling it's light unicorn designs, but if you want to know, let me ask me and I'll find out for you. Lavender Garden. Oh, I fell in love with this. I'm doing this for my mum. She doesn't know. She won't watch this. And I'm doing it on 32 count and one over one tent. And I'm at 20.24%. And she's gorgeous. And I love her. My mum used to live in France and she adores France. And that just, just reminds me of France, Lavender. Okay. Oh. Use the rustling. Oh, I started at the retreat in January again. Chardon Privé. I'm not going to pronounce that at all, but it's the seasonal birdhouses. Handwork Maniac is doing a sow. Where they do each one a month. <clears throat> I dyed this myself. This is 32 count. I'm doing, am I doing two? Yeah, I'm doing two over two on 32 count. And I coffee dyed it and you can still smell it. <clears throat> and obviously I'm still working on this, which is why it's in the queue snap, so apologies. I started in March here and I went backwards and I'm going to finish up to December and then I'm going to obviously come back this way. Needleminder is from um, Megan at Coffee Craft. Gorgeous bean. So that's that one. Love that one. My lovely Nan, well not my Nan, my husband's Nan. She has passed away Thursday. This is, I'm recording this on Sunday, the 20, 24th of March. Um, last weekend, we found out she was in declining and um, she's 101. She was 101. She loved hares and rabbits and things like that. It had lots, got lots of ornaments and pictures of hares around. So I saw this on Etsy and I fell in love with it and I thought I'm going to do this as a memorial for her. Isn't it cute? So beautiful. Colours are lovely. And it's a mixture of cross stitch, half stitch, blends. But it's lovely. So that I'm still working on this one. I can't put this one down. Oh, that's better. There we go. And there's not much of a margin here. Because <laughs> I'll have to find the fabric that I could. I think it's 32 count. No, it's not. It's 28. <clears throat> it's 28 and it's 2 over 2. So that's still... Working on that one. 
she passed on Thursday night, just before I came to Essex. Um, so I have two more to go, and these are new starts yesterday. First one is a Buffy Threads, and this is a present from my stepson. <coughs> kit fabric, kit floss, two over one. I think it's 14 count, speckly, whatever he is, Ada. <laughs> I've got, got his face done, a couple of bits of back stitch, just so it doesn't look like a cat. And that's where I stopped. Last one is a sow I am doing with my lovely friend Sue, who I sit next to at the retreat. And I will show you a photo of it. It is the Owl Forest Embroidery, 100 owls. Sorry for the glare. There we go. It's a free pattern. Um, Sparklies was at the retreat this time round. So this is a... I've got it here. Apologies for the crinkling. It's called Capricorn. It's 32 count and it's... There's the count, opal, linen. And that's the start I've made. And that's my lovely bunny. That reminds me of Nan. And that was from um, Lindsay at Blushing Pink Stitches. And that's my start on that one. That fabric is absolutely stunning. And that's it. Crikey. One hour and six minutes. Just going to show you my two more purchases from the weekend. Another piece of gorgeous fabric. 32 count. Find something on that to do. And this beautiful Nimue chart, Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. I love her. And I, this isn't stitched. So this is stitched. This is in. This is plain. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can. There you go. Well, I hope you've um, enjoyed that. <laughs> I need to go get a cup of tea and go and get some stitching in. Pack my suitcase because I'm in the hotel room at Essex. Pack my suitcase because I'm going home this afternoon. I've had a lovely, lovely weekend. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Teresa. It's been wonderful, as it always is. The staff are amazing. They always look after as well. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in January. The girls at the retreat. I won't see you in January. <laughs> I hope not anyway. I hope to come back. I don't know how regular I'm going to be. I, I do work on a lot of full coverage, so sometimes there's not much to see. So maybe once every six weeks. We'll see. See how we go. Um, I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. I suppose you have to say that. Um, any questions? Comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys. Bye.